What's up YouTube, Sky that one guy here, and today we have the brand new mystery power box. So this just hit shelves uh, like today or maybe yesterday, but it's definitely brand new. This is uh, the mystery power box version 5, the golden box or the yellow box. Um, looks pretty awesome, and yeah, it came out about the same time the uh, spellcaster structure deck came out. Um... And we're going to be opening up not just one, but we're actually going to be opening up two of them in this video. And then if you guys enjoy the opening and uh, get some good feedback, then I might just open two more. Because uh, my Walmart has a pretty good amount of these. So uh, before we get into what's in the box, let's real quick do... Um, I'm also uh, doing the free booster pack giveaway. So at least one person will get to choose one of these packs and uh, get it shipped out to them for free. To enter that, just uh, be inside the U.S., like this video, comment, and subscribe. And if you do those things, you'll be entered. So at least one winner will get one of these packs. So enough about that. We're going to be opening up these two mystery power boxes. So uh, when I first found these, there was none on YouTube. Like, you couldn't find this box on YouTube at all. Uh, by the time I'm done posting it, uh, you know, it might take me a day. So maybe someone else, else will have posted by then. That's all right. But I'm just excited to get brand new opening for you guys definitely had no idea this was at my walmart i just went to the card section saw it there and i was just had to buy it so let's get this wrapping off real quick let's look at the box one more time so it says uh one in two boxes have a chance of premium gold or duelist saga being seated inside of it and it comes with three booster packs one legacy pack one special edition and one mystery item so it looks like you know, there's Dual Saga. It has a chance at Soul Fusion Special Edition or Movie Pack. And then the mystery items looks like it can be a Mega Tin, some sleeves, a graded card, and a Vintage Pack, and then some of the random booster packs you can get. So, two minutes in, enough talking. Let's see what is inside. Okay. We got something big, and yep, so we got Dual Saga is our first thing. So we got three packs of that to open. And then there's... Pretty good amount of other stuff in here. Okay, so that must be our mystery item. So, 20 cards, one ultra, super secret, or rare. Open that up in a second. And for the packs, we have Battles of Legend, Shadows in Valhalla, and the other packs are, so our vintage pack is Invasion of Chaos, and our third pack is Clash of Rebellion. So, pretty good amount of stuff to open up from the first mystery power box. So, let's see. We'll start off with... Start off with this um, blister pack. So, this is made from MJ Holding, but it looks like... It says 2008 on it, so man, these could be some really old cards. Let's see what's in here. Alright, so our... One foil is Berserker Crush, and then I think the rest will all be commons. So we're just going to kind of scan, scan through these real quick. I don't think there's going to be anything too crazy. Cloud Castle. Um, some Blue Jones. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little mystery pack, I guess. Uh, nothing too crazy, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and go into Shadows in Fall Hollow. So an all hollow pack. Uh, this is five cards per pack. And uh, it's been a little while since I've opened these. There's the anti-theft chip on it. All right, let's see what we can get. Okay. <clears throat> Invoked Macabre. Valkyrie Erst. Pretty cool looking card. Fortune Chariot, Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo, and El Shadol Winda. Okay, I will definitely take a Winda. Not the most expensive card, but definitely a big fan of Shadols, so I will definitely take it. All right, let's go Clash of Rebellions. So if I remember right, I don't think this is a guaranteed hollow pack. I think you can have a chance of getting just a rare, but I could be wrong, so let's see. So, Opera, Meliodas Diva, Rise Bell, The Summoner, Black Metal Dragon, 
Wavering Eyes, it's a pretty good common. And DDD Oracle King D Arc. So we did not get a hollow. So that was definitely a pack that doesn't guarantee a hollow. Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch, Rank Up Magic Raptors Force, Silver Claw, and Backup Rider. All right. Still got a lot of packs to go. These things actually give a really good value of packs. Um, so let's go Battles of Legend. If I can get this out of here. Okay, Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge. Another all hollow five cards per pack set. If I can get it opened. And we have a number 90 Galaxy Eyes Photon Lords. So I think that's, uh, I want to say like a three to four dollar card. So not, not too bad. I will definitely take it. Banishment of the Dark Lords, Iron Hans, Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow, and Bottomless Trap Hole. So. Yeah, looking pretty good so far. I'll definitely take that. And we're going to save the Invasion of Chaos pack for last. And let's open up this Duelist Saga. Definitely been a little while since I've opened this. But I did open a full display case of Duelist Saga on my channel maybe about a month ago. So if you guys want to check that video out, feel free to. Got some pretty good pulls. But uh, let's see what we can do out of this one. Ton of wrapping on these Duelist Saga. Okay, let's get these out of here. So we have the Yugi pack, the uh, Spider pack, and the Dark Magician. So let's start off with the Spider pack. Sorry, I don't know his name. I know he's like a number card. Alright, we got a Battle Fader. That's cool. I'll take a Battle Fader. And Magician of Faith. Dark Summoning Beast, Synchro Call, and Converging Wishes. Nothing too crazy in that one, but I sure do love this uh, rarity in this set. I really kind of wish they did this same rarity on Dual Power. I think it would have been pretty cool. Alright, so pack number two of Duelist Saga. Advanced Ritual Art, Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind, Legacy of a Hero, Bro Hunter and Lightwing Shield. So again, nothing too crazy in there. But that's all right. Let's go pack number three of Duelist Saga. Let's see if Yugi can give us some luck on our pulls. Okay, Plague Spreader. Uriah. Oh, that's cool. I'll take a Uriah. I will definitely take that. Uh, Contact with Dawn Thousand. Cosmic Flare and Power Wall. So Uriah was the hit there. All right, so the very last pack for Mystery Power Box number one, Invasion of Chaos. This is the 2014 reprinted unlimited version of the set, but still very excited to open this pack. Um, hopefully we can pull like a BLS, a Chaos Emperor, a Black Luster, you know, something really cool would be awesome but any hollow on this pack will make me happy so let's see if we can do it <clears throat> okay molten zombie dna transplant fenrir or however you pronounce it torpedo fish and mataza the zapper so just a rare nothing crazy but that's all right so stealth bird blazing in pachi spirit of the pot of greed and Chaos Sorcerer, that's actually a really good common. Definitely an amazing card back in the day. Alright, so we're looking pretty decent after box one. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into box number two. Again, these can be found at Walmart. They're about 25 bucks. Uh, they're made from the company MJ Holding. And I think that company's uh, slowly getting better at these boxes. You know, I still think the uh, Holiday Edition Mystery Power Box was the best one by far. But... Um, I think this one's looking not too bad so far, but then again, I've only opened one, so who knows? All right, let's see if we can get the uh, Dual Saga or Premium Gold again. That's cool, because that's only a one in two chance. All right. So here we go. Mystery Power Box, box number two. Let's see if we can get something cool for that mystery item. That'd be sweet. All right, and oh, we did get Dual Saga again. Wow, awesome! So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a one in two chance, or at least it's supposed to be. 
says it's supposed to be, so definitely need to take that. Uh, the rest of the stuff. Uh, okay, so we got another one of those, so I wonder if this is all going to be the same. Let's see. Battles of Legends, Shadows in Valhalla, and Clash Rebellion and Pharaoh's Servant. So the only thing that was different was the Pharaoh's Servant instead of the Invasion of Chaos, but the whole rest of the box was the same. Uh, so let me know what you guys have pulled from this, what packs and stuff. And uh, let me know if you're getting the same two things that I got, or the same packs that I got in my two boxes, or if you got something else. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and start out the same way we did last time, right on this um, old repacked cards. I think this is 2008, so probably this something they just had and they just threw it in for free type of a thing. So let's see. Oh, wow. Wow, we actually got something good. No way. All right, Lady of the Lake. That's a secret rare from an actual set, Shadow Spectre. So that's actually uh, about as good as you can get for a random card. I mean, that's actually really good. So I'd, I'll definitely take that. I don't think it's worth too much, but a secret rare, that's awesome. Uh, Twin-headed Pharaonic, Fragrant Storm. All right. So I'd like to think that random pack was definitely better than our first one. Okay, so let's go, let's go ahead and start out right into Clash of Rebellion. So again, this is the pack that does not have a guaranteed hollow. So let's see if we can just get a hollow. All right, Raid Raptor, Secret Blast, Bubble Barrier, Raid Raptor Return, and Tomb Cyber Dragon. So again, no hollow. Uh, but Toon Cyber Dragon, I think this is actually a 2 to $3 rare, so that's actually pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, Ignite Gallant, Tam Tam, Eliotis Diva, Deskbot, and Damage Juggler. Okay, looking pretty good there. Um, let's go Shadows in Valhalla. Oop, if I can get it open. So let me know what you guys think about these mystery power boxes. And uh, again, if you want to see more, I could uh, open two more and post it. You know, in a couple of days, just let me know by uh, leaving a comment saying you want to see it. And uh, if I get enough, then I'll definitely do it. We'll definitely open up some more. All right. Armor Ninjutsu, Art of Rust Mist, High Speedroid Chambara, Mist Valley Apex Avian, Strike Ninja, and Twin Twisters. Awesome. Jeez, I think this is actually either the most expensive card in the set or uh, at least the top three. This is a very very good pull uh, this price has been creeping up lately I want to say it's like six to eight bucks for the secret rare so that is definitely a huge hit uh, box number two already way ahead of box number one so let's see if we can keep that momentum going right into battles of legends battles of legend relentless revenge and another all hollow five card pack let's see what we can get Hex Trude. All right, that's our secret rare. And Tinma the Sky Star, Torrental Tribute, Windrose the <clears throat> Elemental Lord, and Duelist Alliance. So, kind of struck out there, but uh, that's all right. So, let's get this Duelist Saga opened up. Okay. Sorry for all the noise. There's quite a bit of packaging in the Duelist Saga. Okay, so we got the Yugi, Honest Neos, and Cyber Dragon artwork packs. Let's see if Cyber Dragon can give us some good luck. So we're looking for uh, BLS, Rescue Cat, uh, Fect Baylor, Necro Valley. Uh, there's a lot of good value in this set. Okay, Blackwing Gale, Battle Fader, Saber Shark. Clashing Souls and Silent Angler. So, yeah, Battle Fader was pretty good. I'll take that. Let's go into pack number two. And we got a Jinzo. That's cool. I'll take a Jinzo. Definitely one of my more favorite cards from back in the day. Uh, Advanced Ritual Art, Lightwing Shield, Power Wall, and Legacy of a Hero. All right. And. Pack number three, the final Duelist Saga pack of the video. Oh, there's a Dark Magician of Chaos. So I wanted him in, 
Invasion of Chaos, not in Duelist Saga, but I'll take it. That's still pretty cool. Uh, Neo Spacey and Grand Mole, Legacy of a Hero, Bro Hunter, and Lightwing Shield. All right, final pack of the video. Again, this has been the brand new Mystery Power Box. Uh, I probably wouldn't suggest buying them. Just, uh, you know, if you want to see more, just let me buy them and uh, take the nag. And you guys sit back and enjoy it and save your money. So let's get into the last pack. Pharaoh's Servant. Uh, I'd love to get something cool out of here. Any hollow would do. Let's see if we can get lucky. So Mystic Probe. Four Star Ladybug of Doom. Insect Barrier and Imperial Order. We actually got a Seeker Rare. Awesome. That is definitely one of the good Seeker Rares to get. And I will definitely take it. Um, yeah, pack fresh. It is unlimited, but you know what? A Secret Rare, that is huge. I will definitely take that. All right, Red Moon Baby, Cyber Falcon, Gradius, Insect Imitation, and Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Awesome. All right, let me sort the cards real quick, and then we'll do a recap. All right, you guys, I'm back with a quick recap from the two Mystery Power Boxes. So I'm going to go through the... Uh, more bulk hollows that uh, didn't think were too crazy real quick, so I'm not going to really name them off, but uh, hopefully you guys can see them. Still a lot of really cool hollows in here. And uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys thought about these new Mystery Power Box version 5, uh, the gold edition. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I felt kind of weird that I got two dual powers on my... Or not dual powers, <laughs> sorry, I've been opening up so much dual powers. Um, Duelist Sagas. It felt weird that I got two Duelist Sagas on my first one, or on my first two boxes. So, uh, since that's supposed to be like a 50% chance thing, you know, I'll, I'll have to open up some more and uh, see how we do. So, definitely let me know if you guys want to see me open more. And now for the more notable cards. Uh, number 90, Toon Cyber Dragon, El Shadol Winda. Oh, focus camera. Lady of the Lake, that was a pretty cool one to get. Battle Fader, two of those. Two Advanced Ritual Arts. Jinzo, Dark Magician of Chaos. Magician of Faith. Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. And the best two pulls of the video was the Imperial Order and the Twin Twisters. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this Mystery Power Box. And if you've had any luck, let me know what you got down in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day.